Okay, today I'm going to show you um, how my mother making uh, olives with green beets and uh, meat together. You can put chicken, you can put meat, any type of meat that you like for yourself. You can put even chicken liver, whatever you want. What we need is the green olives after you took out the beet from them, the beet. This is a green beet. Um, I don't know what you call it. You, you take out the leaf and then you leave only the the under piece. <laughs> I don't know in English. Uh, she's Shame. cutting. She's cutting. Uh, how do you call it? Um, onion, onion, and then we need, and then we need. Um, you have salt. You have tomato sauce, uh, mashed tomato. I don't know what you call it. Uh, black pepper, curcum. Red paprika, zafran. Okay. You take uh, a pan, put olive in there, quite a bit. Oh my God, she's putting really a lot. She's putting uh, more than half a glass. It's a uh, olive oil, very good one that I make by myself. Onions, you put them inside. And then she's cutting the tomato. Okay, to small pieces as well. Yeah. And uh, you have to know. That I am here also. My name is George Arbel. I hope you will like the menu that what you will eat. It is delicious. You have to eat to cook it and eat it. And by the way, I'll be glad if you write back some comments about this food, this delicious food. Put in the tomato. Now she's putting the meat inside. Okay. This is for two people. It's quite a lot for two people. That you can you can have it for four portions for sure, but uh, I like to eat from that so now we take it. We put it on the fire. Okay. And it has to be cooked. The camera's man is going to be cooked. Yes, no. The camera's man is going to be cooked. For five minutes. It has to be kind of fried, not cooked. Because it's only oil and the things. And then after eating the garlic, clean it, of course, and cut it also to pieces. Okay, put also the garlic, it, it was not small pieces, two halves. And as you see, it starts getting fried. Okay, by the way, this is the the red tuna fish that we showed you uh, a week before. And, uh, okay, okay. Now about five minutes have passed. So I must give her the thing. You see how after about five minutes. Now, now she's going to put the green bit inside. I hope you know what is green beet. I don't know if they call it green beet. In, uh, I just made Google Translate, so I really have no idea. Now, putting a hat, a pita hat, one big spoon uh, from the ketchup. Not ketchup, it's. Uh, <laughs> 
mashed tomatoes. Okay. Salt. Okay. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Red paprika, minced paprika. Uh, about half, I don't know, it's one uh, teaspoon. You have seen it. Black pepper, grounded black, black pepper. It's better if you make it straight with a grounder. But this is for cheese putting. Corcom. Corcomain, I don't know what you call it. Curcum like put more, it's uh, about yeah, full teaspoon. Then she's putting the green olives inside. Okay. Outlo. She Okay. And now water. Uh, Water, it's about one liter of water. Okay. In. Taroy? Okay. In. That comes up like that. And now it's going to the fire. Okay. Picasse. To the fire. Achshab, a mixer rope. Co Rope. Rope. Cover it Gel. until it's reducing the, all the water and then you put the zafran I will show you afterwards. Okay, in the end, you have to put, no, after it's about like that, it will be boiled and so, you put the zafran on top and now you let it Cook until it's reduced to almost non water anymore, only oil that means like sauce with oil. Okay, that's how it looks after it has been all soaked. There is only the sauce, and you will see it on the plate after. Finish! And finally, I'm going to eat my dinner. This is how it looks olives with green beans in. Uh, Turkey, turkey meat. Yeah, I hope you will make the same and uh, you will have a very good meal.